Hi there, Scott Francis, Editor-in-Chief of Composites World. Um, I'm here with um, Ginger Gardner, Senior Technical Editor for Composites World. We're standing in front of the um, MFFD um, Multifunctional Fuselage Demonstrator, a project that has been in progress for um, the Clean Aviation Program for uh, spanning more than 10 years. Um, it demonstrates a lot of the different composite processes and technologies. And Ginger recently wrote an article about the final assembly of this fuselage structure. And Ginger, I wonder if you could tell us a little bit about your, your recent article. So, we've written a lot about the, well, I've written a lot about the MFFD. Uh, we've covered the manufacture of the lower half and the upper half. The four beams and the left hand fuselage joint. And this last article covered the right hand fuselage joint and then the final step, which is coupling the frames so that they're an integrated structure from the upper half to the lower half. So these were projects um, the multi valve and the welder projects. The multi valve was about developing the tooling that you needed to be able to do these longitudinal joints and then finishing up with the welder project where they developed this continuous ultrasonic process really interesting because it required a special tool to be developed so that you do the continuous process but also this is the first time they had done continuous ultrasonic modeling on such thick sections and so we talk about um, the way they developed that and having to do it with three passes also scaling from a one meter long sample in the lab to an eight meter long fuselage section is also not trivial and then finally when you look at doing the coupler frames so they stamped them couplers um, and they connect the upper and lower frames. That was done with resistance welding and it's a completely different tool and it's interesting because the tool had to be used on all of the frames and there's different geometries so they had methods about how to make it conform and then they could disassemble it, mirror it, reassemble it and do the frames on the other side. So um, yeah it was a very interesting article, a lot of really interesting technology, amazing work. What's also interesting is that even though the MFFD has been completed and it's at the ZAL Research Center in Hamburg, there's still testing going on and already MFFD has informed future projects that have already started, German projects and EU projects. And, uh, yeah, I think we're going to see a lot more development yet on thermoplastics, obviously, and uh, see what ends up on the next generation. So obviously a lot of information um, is available at compositesworld.com. Check out the articles that uh, Jim contributed over the years on this uh, really awesome project. And um, thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks.